I have always believed that everyone has a purpose in life. The trick is to know when you've found it. I found mine when I baked my first cupcake. I was 12 years old, and it was like I discovered a secret. I could take a few ingredients, mix them together, add a little heat, and I could make magic. Okay, that ought to fix it. So let me reconnect this. And got it. Oh, yes. Thank you, Sam. Ugh, what would I do without you? Well, for one thing, get rid of this old truck and do what you've always said you're gonna do. Open a real bake shop. Sam. Yes? I can't afford to buy a new truck. Much less pay the rent on some building. <laughs> well, you know what? I would give it to you if I had it. Aw. Thank you, but I am not taking money from my best friend. Just having you work with me is more than enough already. Okay, but how about asking your parents for a loan? Oh, <laughs> are you kidding me? They're still upset that I left Ohio. I can't exactly call my mom up and say, hi, not doing so well with this whole adult thing. Can I borrow some money? <laughs> Besides, for now, I just prefer the more mobile approach to the cupcake business. That way I'm not tied down to anything. Or anybody. We are not having this okay, conversation. all right. Thank you. How was your blind date last night? Okay, at first. But then I asked him the test question. Mmm, the superhero one. If you could have a superpower, flying or invisibility, which would it be? And he said? Invisibility. Exactly, which means that he is fundamentally sneaky and untrustworthy. You know, the FBI should really think about hiring you with that foolproof system. I put a call in, they're getting back to me. <laughs> the point is that I'm still out there trying, and you should be too. Just because one guy broke your trust doesn't mean they're all going to. I mean, haven't you thought about dating? No. I have thought about it. And? And then I stopped. Hi, good morning. Welcome to Sweet Treats. What can I get you? They want it when? Look, it's not a post-it note, it's a quarterly investment report. I mean, I haven't finished the seasonal adjustment analysis. How do they expect us to turn it around this fast? What? All right, all right, look, I'll see you at the office, but I'm warning you, we're going to be staying late tonight. Okay, bye-bye. I thought we were going to the park after school. Oh, I know, honey, I'm sorry, but duty calls. Let's go tomorrow instead. Mom always used to cut the crusts off. Well, luckily, when you're with me, you get the whole sandwich. All right, all right, you drive a hard bargain. No crust. Okay. Oh, I called Monica's mom, and she said that you could ride into school with them this morning. Okay, Daddy. Don't forget about the bake sale. The bake sale? For the fall fun fair next week at school. Remember, you promised I could bring something for the bake sale. And, Daddy, it has to be homemade. Really? Homemade. Listen. Me and you, we're gonna figure this out, Lily. I promise. Come here. I love you. I love you too, Daddy. All right, sir. Here are your two carrot cake and two gluten-free chocolate. Thank you so much. Have a good day. So how long did it take you to write the book? Those sold out fast. Well, Anna, how to bake anything is a culmination of years of work. What are you watching? Study. Oh, um, nothing. You see, to me, baking is more than just a job. It's always been my true love. And I hope that comes across in the book. It certainly does. My guest today has been David Howe, and his new book, How to Bake Anything, is available everywhere. I'm so sorry, Nat. 
I was just browsing it and look, it's no big deal. Really, don't worry about it. Really? After what that guy did to you, I'm surprised you could even stand the sight of him. What happened happened. Doesn't bother me anymore. Are you sure? Absolutely, I'm totally over it. You know, David Howe is like these day old cupcakes. Sweet at the time, but now, a little stale. Yeah, yeah, I'm heading into the office now. Thank you. Just uh, get the documents ready and we'll go over them together. No, no, I understand that. Just set up a meeting for tomorrow morning and that... <laughs> Sorry. Nick, I gotta call you back. Something just came up. Yep. Here, let me see it. No, no, it's my fault. What was I thinking? Just... Um, it's fine. Uh, um, let me pay for your dry cleaning. It's not Here. necessary. Honestly, I, you know, it will oh, maybe come out. It'll make me feel so much better. Here, here's my number. These things happen, you know what? And, and I really do need to get There's to my There's nothing I can office. do? I don't think so. A free cupcake. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Cupcake. They're very good. That's a red velvet and pumpkin right. and vanilla. Yeah, this is the one. This okay. is the winner. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. What? What? Hey, it's me. Listen, I'm gonna be a little late. I um, I have to do some shopping. Yep. Okay. Bye bye. Congratulations. For what? You gave that guy your number a great start. That was for him to call me so I could pay for ruining his suit. And when he does, what then? I'll pay for his suit, and that's all. You're incredible. Thank you. Here you have a perfect opportunity to meet someone, and you're just letting it go. I told you I am not interested in dating, Sam. What I am interested in is tomorrow's cupcake order. Hello. Hello. I'm looking for Natalie Morgan. Natalie Morgan. Hi, that's me. Have a nice day. Hey. Hey. Nice shirt. New? Long story. Those are seasonal numbers? Yeah. Gone over half a dozen times and they're still out of whack. Must be reading something wrong. You? That's kind of hard to believe. Even a genius can have an off day. <laughs> oh, somebody left this for you at the front desk. Oh. Hey, Nick. Do you know how to bake? <laughs> Man, I burn water. Why? My daughter Lily's got this bake sale coming up. I gotta figure something out. Whatever you do, do it right. Those bake sales can be vicious. I don't believe it. Oh, yeah. Those other parents will absolutely judge you on your cookies. No. No, I meant this. Here, take a look. I didn't know you had an Abby. Yeah, my mom's sister. She passed away a couple of months ago. I loved Aunt B. I didn't get to see her that often, but she always remember my birthday. Always got a card each year, that kind of thing. I think this might be about more than just a birthday card. Believe B left me something in her will. What are you talking about? She loved you. <laughs> I loved her too. She used to call me the daughter she never had. <laughs> Did she have any other family? I think she had a sister in Paris and then a nephew she saw a couple times a year. Oh. And she had you? Yes. <laughs> Did you know she used to own a bakery here in town? No. Yeah, we would sit and talk about pastries for hours. Mm. Ugh. We had so much fun together. Well, maybe this is her way of saying thank you.
You. you. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Small world. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No coffee today. <laughs> oh, no. I, um... I figured I wouldn't have time to go home between meetings, so... Okay, I, I offered to pay for your dry cleaning. I, I was kidding. I'm kidding. It's fine, really. Please, don't worry about it, okay? Yep. <laughs> nice to see you again. Have a good day. Meet again. Yeah. After you. No, no, no. You first. How about we go together? All right. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm here, here to see Stanley Cardillo. Cardillo. What? Are you kidding? Why are you here? Well, for the same reason you are, Miss Morgan. In fact, we're all here to talk about Aunt B. So you're the the nephew that she always talked about. Huh. Yeah, and. Uh, you must be the girl with the cupcakes she was always raving about. Yeah. What a coincidence. Yes. Well, I hope it's a happy one, because you two are sort of stuck in this situation together. What do you mean, situation? Oh, well, I, I guess I wasn't clear in my letter. Uh, most of Ms. Delito's liquid estate was given to her favorite charities, pet rescue, shelters, that sort of thing. But she also left behind a fairly valuable piece of property. It uh, consists of this building here, which I believe was some type of retail space at one time. And uh, behind it, there's an old carriage house. Wait, are you saying that we own this place together? Well, not exactly together. Uh, Mr. Schneider, you own the building proper, and uh, Ms. Morgan, you of the carriage house. Oh, what a sweet thing to do. Your Aunt B knew I was having a hard time paying for a place to park my truck at night. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. Well, now you can afford to park anywhere you want. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Well, I mean, we're gonna sell the property, right? sell it well, that would be the smart thing to do real estate is at an all-time high in the city especially in that neighborhood and if you want to avoid a big tax bill well exactly i i mean you know we'll split it but since i own the main building and you just have the garage carriage house okay carriage house um since you just have that i figure mm -hmm. 75 25 split sounds about right before we discuss profit shares, um, shouldn't we at least see the place? I mean, it was a part of your Aunt B's life, and you're her family, and I was her good friend. The least we could do is, you know, visit the place before we put it on the chopping block. Right? I remember this place. I used to come here when I was a kid. I can't believe this is Delito's. Yeah. She used to talk about this place all the time. Yeah, my, uh, my mom and dad used to bring me here when I was little. This is amazing. You should see all the stuff in here. Yeah? I wonder if it still works. <laughs> well, you know, we really don't have to worry about any of this stuff. Whoever buys the place will take care of everything. Natalie? Natalie? Oh. Oh? Yes! It's perfect! There's plenty of room to park! Okay, why are you still talking about parking? Well, that's, that's why your aunt gave me this place. 
So then I could put my truck in here. Well, you know, the good news is once we sell this place, you'll have all the money in the world to park wherever you want. I don't know. What do you mean? I don't think we should sell it. Are you kidding? Not sell? This place must be worth a fortune. It is sitting on prime real estate in the in the middle of the city. I know, but well, what are we supposed to do with it? I mean, it's not as though bakeries have a big profit margin. A, they're expensive, and B, the return on investment is negligible. Oh, so so you've researched this, have you? I'm a finance manager, so it's kind of my job to know about this sort of thing. I mean, I guess you're right, but. All right. Well, look, you're part owner, so I need you to agree to this before we can do anything. All right. So, how about this? We sell the property, we split the money, and we just we go our separate ways. Do we have a deal? It has been too long. It's so good to see you. Right. Oh, hey, God, you too, Courtney. <laughs> Thank you for、uh, helping us. It's absolutely、this. my pleasure. Right. Hi.、Um, Hi. Yes, this is Natalie. She's the one I told you about who owns part of the property. The garage. The carriage house. Right. Yes. <laughs> Come、right. on in. Anyway. So I wasn't sure who to call about it, but then I remember you handle properties like this. So I said to myself, "Why not ask Courtney?" I'm just so happy you thought of me, both of you. And I wish I had better news. What do you mean? Well, you know me. I do my homework, and I'm afraid Delito's Bakery is actually listed with the state as an historic site. That's wonderful. Well. Is it? Well, it depends what you plan to do with it. You see, according to the rules, the property and any buildings on it cannot be rezoned or substantially altered. In fact, it can't even be renovated without approval of the Historic Preservation Society, and they love their red tape. Well, doesn't that make the property more valuable? In theory, yes, but in this real estate market, nobody wants a property like this unless they can put condos on it. So I approach some of my regular buyers. And? Nobody wants it. <sighs> You're kidding. I wish I were. I even tried some of my overseas investors. They'll buy anything, but、uh, yeah, no bites. So what does this mean for us? It means congratulations. You two own a bakery. You mean you can't sell it? We're trying to, but the realtor said it's going to be tough to find a buyer. Um. Well, look on the bright side. Maybe this is your big chance. <laughs> For what? To have a real bake shop. You said that all the equipment is still there and the building is still solid, so maybe you should think about reopening it. To be honest, yeah. That's the first thing I thought when I saw the place. And? No. Why not? Well, for one thing, I don't own it. I'm just part owner of this property. Okay, you could talk to this Eric guy about going into business together. Sam, I barely know this man, but you like him, don't you? I don't know, but but you saw what happened the last time I trusted someone. I just don't think I'm ready to take that chance again. I get it, but Nat, you can't go through the rest of your life not trusting people. Maybe it's time you give it another try. Well, thank you, gentlemen. And、uh, if you change your mind, please just let me know. All right. Thank you. No luck. No.、Nope. And that was the third investor this week. They're all interested. 
Mm. It's the historic preservation thing that's scaring them away. What if we don't sell? Well, I don't know about you, but I can't afford to keep this place as a hobby. I'm not talking about a hobby. I am talking about a business. What if we reopen Delito's Bakery? Wait, you mean we as in you and me? That is a terrible idea. Why? Well, well, for starters, it would cost a lot of money. And two, most food businesses fail. Mine hasn't. You sell cupcakes on wheels. It's not quite the same, is it? I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean that. They're good cupcakes. Apology accepted. No, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just frustrated is all. I think the only way out of this mess is for me to go down to the Historic Preservation Society and see if they got some kind of appeals process or a waiver or something so that we can convince somebody to buy this place. I've got a better idea. All right, Ms. Morgan. You're looking to buy out your partner's interest in the property at uh, 445 Howell. Is that right? Well, he's, he's not really my partner. We just own the property together, so... Well, I guess that would make him my partner, but but we're not uh, uh, yeah, together. Yeah, I, I understand. And the property in question is a bakery with a garage. Carriage house. Carriage house. And uh, your collateral against this loan would be? I own 25% of the property. Unfortunately, the bank's policy doesn't permit using a property as collateral against a loan for its own purchase. Do you have anything else? My cupcake truck. Your cupcake truck? From the look on your face, I can tell you've already heard the bad news. Yeah. The claim for the waiver on my bakery building just got denied. I'm never going to be able to sell this place now. Uh, that's not exactly the bad news I'm talking about. They can't do this. They've already done it. They're shutting down the whole department. We're officially unemployed. Oh, hey, honey. So what are you doing home, Dad? What? I don't even get a kiss first? There we go. Uh, well, I just thought I would take the, the day off so we can finally go to the park. What do you say? It's raining. Yeah. We'll take umbrellas. What's in the box? Oh, uh, that stuff is from my office, and it was, um, you know, just cluttering my desk, so... That's this. Oh. Well, now this. This is a very special gift from your great Aunt B. It's a bakery. We're gonna have our own bakery? Cool! Thank you for stopping by. Hello. So, what's today's special? It is the pumpkin spice. Oh, sounds good. Uh, I'll take one. I'll get you one of those. Playing hooky from the office today? Not exactly. I'm sort of um, taking a leave of absence at the moment, but I am working on a very big top secret project right now. Oh, really? Yeah. You see, I'm planning on reopening my family's bakery and i wondered if you knew anyone who would be interested in something like that yeah 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 when we move the oven from this area over here we can replace it with something more efficient and i was also thinking we're gonna need all new electric mixers and oh 
the walk-in fridge. We got to replace that. Okay, well, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. Walk-in fridge. Why, why are we suddenly buying all new equipment? Because most of these appliances are outdated and it's probably going to cost more to repair them than replace them. Okay, shouldn't we hold off on making that call until we test the stuff first? Well, I've seen the appliances. I, I know what I'm talking well, I, about. Fine. Yeah? Okay, good. Because that was sounding very expensive. <laughs> I just thought that since we were partners, you would respect my professional opinion. Uh, I do respect your professional opinion, but I also think you kind of need to respect our budget, which, by the way, I am contributing 75%, so there's that. Oh, so because I'm only putting in 25%, my opinion is only worth 25%. No, 25%. I'm not going there. I'm just saying that we should probably we respect the budget. I'm not really doing... You did go there. Oh, hey, hi, honey. Hi. Um, Lily, this is Natalie. Hi. It's hi. nice to meet you. Hello. Uh, Natalie and I are working on opening the bakery together. Cool! Is there going to be gingerbread men? Well, if you think there should be, why not? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, honey, why don't you get started on your homework and then we'll have some pizza later. Okay. Oh, Dad, don't forget, you promised about the bake sale. I promise. I won't forget. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you too. <laughs> it's my daughter. Wow, she's very lovely. Thank you. And she lives with you? Uh, yeah. Her mom and I divorced a couple of years ago, and Paula, that's my ex, she's doing a year with Doctors Without Borders, so for right now, it's just me and Lily. And a bake sale. Yes, for the school. <laughs> Fall fun fair. <laughs> well, what are you going to bake? I have no idea. Do you want my help? <laughs> no, 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 I'm not going there. Uh, I'll, I'll figure something out, honestly. I, I, I don't want to bother you. So. Oh, come on. It is no bother. I can whip something up, and it'll be done by the time we're finished here. Really? Yep. Where's your flour and baking powder? Um, right. I don't exactly uh, have any of that kind of stuff. Do you even know how to bake? Well... <laughs> so, mm. the secret to baking is chemistry. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's all about the perfect balance of ingredients at the right temperature. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's always a certain level of experimentation involved, but... When you finally find the right recipe, there's nothing like it. Mm. Eric! Hey, Courtney, hi. Uh, oh, you remember Natalie? Yes, yes, with the carriage house. That's right. <laughs> Do you shopping together? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Natalie is helping me with Lily's bake sale at school, and fortunately, Natalie knows how to bake, so... How ambitious. Listen, I've still had no nibbles on your property, but I am not giving up. Uh, right, uh, yeah, uh, listen, about that... Daddy and Natalie are opening the bakery again! Oh! You are, you, you and Natalie together? Yes. How fun! So I guess you'll be wanting to take the property off the market then. Honestly, Courtney, I meant to call you. I'm sure you did. You know what? Don't worry about it. I'll just, I'll take care of everything. You call me next week, and uh, it was nice to see you again, Natalie. You too. All right. Bye-bye. Oh, I finally got her tucked in. But she's still worried about the bake sale tomorrow. But I told her we're in very good hands. Mmm, these smell so good. Chocolate Manchester's. Yeah? yeah. Mm. Oh, no, 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 no. Not yet. You just have to let them cool a bit so that the flavor isn't overpowered by the heat. Wow. So technical. Mm. <laughs> you know, I'm probably going to win Father of the Month for these. You know, I could teach you how to make them yourself and you might win Father of the Year. Yeah, I think I'll just leave it with the specialist, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you want some? Yeah. 
So was it just my imagination, or was your friend Courtney a little uptight at the market? Huh, I didn't notice. Yes, yes, yeah, I completely right. noticed. Yeah, um, you see, the thing is, after my divorce, I, well, I dated here and there, and Courtney was there, and she wanted to be a here. Mm. So, it just didn't work out. What about you? Me? Yeah, you uh, have anyone special in your life? I mean, I, I dated someone for a while, but it ended. Cookies are ready. You made cookies for him? Actually, they were for his daughter. Either way, it's a big step. Forget it, Sam. Come on, Nat. Everyone knows that the first sign of trust is baking for someone. Oh, everyone knows this? That's right. Eric and I are strictly business partners. That is it. Um, didn't you tell me that the two of you are spending the afternoon together? We are meeting with contractors to talk about the bakery. That is it. For your information, my relationship with Eric is not now, nor is it ever going to be, romantic. I think that one's done. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'll be honest. Just getting this place up to code is gonna break your budget. You gonna rest? No. Okay, so with the demo, the resto, and the reno, I figured looking at out. This is your budget? <laughs> Have a nice day. So maybe we do two ovens instead of three, and then we can just stick with the one mixer. No, it's not going to make much of a difference. I mean, look at these numbers. The cheapest bid is $20,000 over our budget. And I'm 75% into this, if you remember. Thank you for reminding me again. You know, I'm just saying that this is turning out to be a lot more expensive than we had figured. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, what if we went to a bank and got a small business loan? No, this, this bakery is going to take at least a year to break even, and I haven't got that kind of money to tread water that long. Do you? No. But look, I think if we can cut a few corners, then we have a chance, as long as there are no surprises. Good afternoon. I'm Ken Wong with the Historical Preservation Committee. We understand you plan on doing some work on the building. And I just thought I'd drop by with our official list of rules and regulations for renovation. Naturally, any changes to the existing structure is prohibited, but we do have an appeals process which you are welcome to present at our monthly committee meeting. Well, looks like I was right in the first place. About what? About this whole thing being a bad idea. I mean, I think we need to face the facts. Which are? Which are that the best thing for this property is just to put it back on the market and hope that we can find a buyer. So just forget about the reopening. Forget about everything. I, I don't know how to make this work. I mean, I'm sorry, Natalie, I am. It would have been fun. But I guess Delito stays in the history books after all. kind of upset about this bakery thing, aren't you? Why would you say I'm upset? Oh, I don't know, just a feeling, I guess. Baking takes my mind off things. Like, watching my life dreams go up in smoke. You know what's the great thing about baking? If you want something to eat, you can just do it yourself.
job. Good job. We're almost starting to get cookies, Dad. They're still better than anybody's. Wow. Maybe I got a future in the school bake sale business, huh? Oh. I'm just glad you're here. I'm glad I'm here, too. Hi. I didn't know you were coming. I thought I would come by and check on the cookie sales. Well, I would say we were a hit. He could have sold twice as many. Really? Well, next time your dad's just gonna have to make more. <laughs> come on. Where are we going? I am gonna win you a pumpkin. Oh, boy. Come on. <laughs> I didn't expect to see you here. I didn't expect to come. Well, I'm glad you did. <laughs> okay, so, are you familiar with the famous Scarecrow Toss? A little bit. Okay, the secret uh, wow. is all in the follow-through, of course. You <laughs> see, most people make the mistake of going underhand, okay. when in fact the secret to success is to go overhand and just lob it in there. Just like that? Yep, just okay. like that. All right? Yep. Prepare to be dazzled. Oh. <clears throat> Hiya! Way over there. Ooh. Okay, so maybe I got that backwards and it actually is underhand. underhand. Mm -hmm. Okay, round two. <laughs> so, I have a confession to make. You don't like pumpkins. I didn't just come for the cookie sales. I have an idea. Okay, I'm listening. What if? We did all the renovations ourselves. I know a great supplier and can get great deals on kitchen appliances. What do you think? Well, for starters, do you know anything about renovations? Pumpkin. Did you know anything about baking cookies? Since we know the preservation people are going to be sticky about things, I went to the Historic Society's website and downloaded these photos. These are from when Bee's parents ran the bakery. Look at this detail. Look at the wallpaper and, and the tile. What if we take it right back to the way it was when they first opened the place? An authentic Italian bakery. What do you think? He said no. He said it would never work, and we didn't know what we were getting ourselves into, and we'd just end up losing all of our money. Fine. Then, if he's not behind you 100%, you need to move on. What? You heard me. If this guy's not going to back you up, then it's time to move on. Well, I thought you said that he was Mr. Wright. Well, I guess I was wrong. Besides, what do you need him and his old bakery for anyway? You've already got the best cupcake truck in town. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, don't forget Mr. Rabbit. There he is. <laughs> Did you have fun today, Dad? Oh, I always have fun with you, kiddo. Me too. I'm glad you took the day off work so we could be together. Oh. Mm -hmm. Me too. Are you and Natalie really going to open the bakery again? I don't know, honey. I'm just not sure right now. I hope you do. Yeah? Uh-huh. Because then, maybe you could take the day off from work more often. Good night, honey. Good night, Daddy.
Well, just looking at the situation overall, I'd say you need a new transmission and new electrical and a new fuel pump. Basically, you need a new truck. Well, that's not going to happen right now because I can barely afford to keep this one on the road. Oh, is there anything else you can do? Well, we'll take her into the shop, give her a full once over and see what we can do, but I'm not making promises. Thank you. Oh. I'm gonna go with them. Keep an eye on things. Sam, if we don't have a truck, we don't have customers. If we don't have customers, we don't have a business. Hey, you still have your kitchen. Do you really think people are gonna come to my apartment and buy cupcakes? Look, don't worry. Something will work out. It always does. Right? <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing here? I called Courtney. Oh. She must have been thrilled. No. Not really. But I told her my mind was made up, so... About what? I'm taking the property off the market. Come on. <clears throat> we got some work to do. Now, I just need you to sign and date the rest of these permit applications, and then you're all through. Okay. Oh, now here, on this one, you need to fill in the name of the owner of the building. Which one of you is that? Oh, uh, we both own the property. Together? Mm-hmm. 50-50. <laughs> right down the middle. I'll be right back. Why did you do that? We agreed. I know, 75, 25, but here's the thing. I just have the building. You're bringing your skill, your talent, your amazing cupcakes. You didn't have to do that. Yes, I did. It's only fair. So, do we have a deal partner? Sorry. Everything seems to be in order. So, do we get the permit? There's just one more thing. And so, in conclusion, our plan for the renovation is to modernize the existing structure with updated features and to do any repairs necessary to make sure that the building is code compliant. Thank you for your time. Any questions? Well, I... I think we all agree that your plan certainly seems feasible, but I have just one question for you both. The Lido's has been out of business for quite a few years. What is it about this place that makes you want to reopen it? Um, well... Honestly, Mr. Wong, it's just a feeling, I guess. The feeling that um, we belong there. The feeling of knowing that we didn't just inherit a piece of property, but a part of the living history of the city. And maybe it's also the feeling that I got when I listened to stories told by Eric's Aunt B, who was a wonderful friend to me. <laughs> she would talk about the smell of fresh baked bread and her father singing while he worked and, and the smiles on the faces of her customers when they tasted their first piece of Delito chocolate cake. Which, by the way, will be on the menu. <laughs> this bakery has been in Eric's family for generations and I would like to think that she gave it to us because she trusted that we would restore it to its rightful place in the city's history. And now, I'm asking all of you to do the same. Congratulations, both of you. We'll send our recommendation on to City Council, and you should receive your approval by the end of the week. However, I will need one more thing. A piece of that chocolate cake. I loved it when I was a boy. 
<laughs> Deal. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> we did it. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did it. That was an amazing speech. It was the truth. <laughs> so, now what do we do? Now, we get to work. Paper plates? Come on! It'll make cleanup so much easier. Ew. But if we want an old-fashioned bakery, shouldn't we use real plates? Hey, come take a look at this. What is it? Well, it's, uh, it's a bunch of recipes, but they're handwritten. It's like a, a recipe scrapbook. Wait a sec, let me see that. Wow, you know what this is? This is my Aunt Bee's cookbook. Look, there it is. There's her name. Beatrix Delito. Oh, wow. I remember this book. You know, when I was a little kid, my parents would bring me here and I would stand right there in this very kitchen and I would watch as my... Aunt B brought this book down from the shelf and she would, she'd look at it and then she'd put some <laughs> ingredients in a bowl and then she'd come back and look at it some more. Oh, I remember all of this. You want to hear something silly? Always. I used to think this book was magic. <laughs> I don't think that's silly at all. You know what would be a great idea? What's that? We could use that cookbook for our bakery. You mean just follow the recipes? Yeah. We could advertise uh, history in the baking. Oh, come on. <laughs> you got to admit, that is good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's very good. Uh, but for one thing, they're, they're really out of date. And a little old-fashioned for what the modern customers like to buy. No offense to your Aunt Bea. Yeah, I think so, huh? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm getting a little hungry. Lily is spending the night at a friend's having a sleepover. So why don't we go home, freshen up, and go for dinner and discuss this a little more? Strictly business. My parents used to bring me here all the time as a kid practically grew up on this tomato sauce. <laughs> Thank you. So, what do you think? About what? About this. I was thinking we could do something like this inside the bakery. Real, authentic Italian. I mean, look at the paneling and the lighting. I'm looking. <laughs> you know what? Maybe we could get a statue or a fountain. <clears throat> yeah, thank you. What do you think? No. No? I mean, it's, it's great for here. But a bakery, it needs to be light and airy. I'm thinking 
white tile and, and, and bright colors. I mean, if this is your idea of what Delito should look like, then I'm going to tell you, we have a problem here. Hmm. Hmm. This might be the best bread I've ever had. Really? Hmm. What a coincidence. Why? Well, you see, that's my Aunt B's bread. Mm. She taught their pastry chef how to make it, and they've been doing it the same way from her original recipe for the last 33 years. So, you still think Aunt B's cookbook is out of date? But at least just let us modernize things a bit, right? Instead of uh, vegetable oil, we can use coconut oil. Natalie. Hey, David, um... Lovely to see you. Phoebe, this is Natalie. And Eric. Sir, Eric. Eric, this is my friend Phoebe. Hi. Uh, this, so what are you uh, doing in the city? Book tour. Yeah, the paperback comes out next week, so... How about you? You still doing the cookie cart thing? Cupcake. Truck. Yeah, that thing. Excuse me, Mr. How could I? Oh, of course I will. Yeah, come on in. Nice to see you, Natalie. Yep. Thank you. Who is that jerk? That jerk is my ex boyfriend. We met in culinary school. He was top of the class. He just knew he was going to be a star, and we dated for a while. Yeah, and then what happened? He dumped me. Well, just like that, no explanation? Just like that. Well, that's kind of horrible. Oh, I'm a big girl. I got over it. Thank you so much for dinner. Mm -hmm. And for tricking me into trying that bread. <laughs> no, I, I'm the one who should be thanking you. For what? How about pushing me out of my comfort zone for one? I mean, opening up a bakery wasn't exactly in my career plan, <laughs> but uh, I gotta admit, I'm actually really enjoying it, especially with you. Well, I'm just glad you changed your mind. Mm. Well, I had a little help in that direction. Lily really likes you, so, you know. And believe me, she does not usually like any of my girl. I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, she doesn't, uh, I gotta stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> You're a wonderful man. You really are. And I would be lying if I said I wasn't attracted to you. But I I just can't do this right now. No, of course. I mean, I didn't mean. I I, I wasn't I it's wasn't It's not it's not you. It, it's just Natalie. No explanation necessary. I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Careful. I still think we should call an actual electrician. Mm -mm, no way. Not when we can do this ourselves. But what if something goes wrong? <laughs> Nothing is going to go wrong. Now go ahead. Turn on the light. Uh, if anything bad happens, I just want you to know it's been fun. Natalie, trust me. Looks like you blew most of the old wiring. You're lucky it wasn't worse. Can you fix it? <laughs> it's not something you fix, it's something you replace. And it's not going to be cheap either. Oh, great. Uh, when can you start? I'll sign there and I'll go get my tools right now. How long will it take? Hard to tell until I get in there. 
couple days, maybe a week. Hope you guys aren't in a rush. Thank you. There's the last thing that we needed right now. Look, it's just a slight delay. We'll be back on schedule in no time. No, that's not going to be good enough, Natalie. Look, the thing is, we're running out of money. I put almost everything I got into this place, but unless we get up and running soon, I'm going to be in real trouble here. It's okay. I, I understand. I can keep things going here if you have to go back to work. Yeah, about that. Um... No. I can't leave you here on your own. We're just gonna have to figure out how to move everything along faster. That's all there is to it. We need some help. <laughs> don't drop that stuff! I got it! I got it! Here, let me get that. No, no, don't touch it! Don't touch it! No, you're upsetting my balance. I'm balanced! No. <laughs> He's balanced. Uh-huh. <laughs> you two have worked really hard together. You know, I never thought I'd see Natalie do this. What? Open a bakery? <laughs> no. Trust a guy. Especially after what happened with David. Oh, yeah. I met that guy. Mm. What a piece of work he is. She said, uh, they broke up. It was more than that. They were engaged. Oh. I didn't know that. Yeah. It was pretty serious. Ever since, she's focused all her energy on her cupcake truck business and now this bakery, thanks to you. Nick, I can't thank you enough for taking off work to help us today. No problem. Haven't had anything but days off. What do you mean? Didn't Eric tell you? The company we worked for did a major downsizing. Put us both out of a job. No, no, he, he didn't tell me that. Yeah, he's pretty down about it. But then you came along. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen him happier. You know, if it wasn't for you in this bakery, I don't know what he'd be doing. Guess what I have? Oh, the flyers. Great. <laughs> Here Thank you go. You. Oh. Don't be too. All right. Saturday. You really think we're going to be ready by then? We're almost there. Besides, we have our best people working on it. Yeah, and those people have been working awfully hard. Yes. So how about we knock it off for the day and get back to it tomorrow morning? I vote for that. I am starving. Oh, I know an excellent Thai place around the corner. I love Thai. I love Thai. Great, let's do it. Um, actually, you guys go, we'll lock up. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good night. Thank you. So, if you could have a superpower, flying or invisibility, which would it be? Oh, flying. Definitely flying. Invisible, that's just creepy. <laughs> well, I guess I will see you Do you want to come over? To eat your place? Yeah. I mean, we should be, probably talk about, you know, the opening. Right. It's strictly business. Strictly business. Why are you so dressed up, Dad? Huh? No reason. Just a uh, business meeting. With Natalie? Uh, yeah. Oh, why don't you let the babysitter in? Okay. Strictly business. Hi! Hi. 
Um, uh, these are for you. Thank you. Uh, uh, come on in. All right. Thank you. <clears throat> so I brought you a bottle of red because I didn't know what you were planning on. Um... Oh, no. You thought I meant dinner. I feel like such an idiot. I no, no, no! I am so sorry. No, I should have said I something. Misunderstood. No, I, please I'm don't. So I, dumb. I'm so sorry. Here, yeah. take one of these. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, oh, this looks amazing. Okay. Mm. <laughs> oh, that is so good. Yeah. So good. You know, it's funny. This um, this somehow reminds me of my childhood. Really. Because I got it out of this. And Bee's cookbook. Yes, I did what you suggested. I used her recipes and added my own modern twist. What do you think? I think this bakery is going to be a huge success is what I think. And. Okay. What? I did a website for us. <laughs> really? I did. <laughs> you just click on the muffin and it tells you the daily special. <laughs> that is so cute. Good <laughs> job. Oh, that reminds me. I talked to a friend of mine who works at The Courier. He's going to do a story all about us. Really? Yes. You see? It's all just starting to fall into place. There's only one problem. What? Well, the um, grand opening is, what, less than a week away? Yeah. I can't oh, be no. the only person no, 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 no. doing oh, come all on. the baking. You are seriously going to teach me how to bake? Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> First, we're going to start with the basics, and then the rest will just fall into Great. place. Oh. Whoa, I got you. Lesson number one, hmm? no distractions. <laughs> oh. You know, I think Aunt B would be proud of what we're doing here. I hope so. She was such a wonderful lady. She really was. Just wish I had gotten to know her better. Honey, she said the same thing about you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, Natalie, there's something I need to tell you about my job. Mm, the downsizing? Yeah, Nick told me. Here, let me help you. Come on. Okay. Like there that. you go, and then fold. Yeah, and then and again. Then, okay. I was gonna tell you, honestly. I just, I don't know. I didn't want to make you worry any more than you already had to. I'm not worried. No. No. I didn't mean to. I mean, I mean, I did mean no. to, but I. No. I understand. Look, I um. I should probably get going. Eric, I'm so sorry. No. Emily, don't be. Hello, Courtney. Are you ready for some great news? More than you know. I found a buyer for your property. They love that it's historic. They're ready to make an offer. These people showed up out of nowhere. You can finally sell that ridiculous bakery and get on with your life. I can't believe
we we did it. <laughs> but we did, and tomorrow morning, Delitos is open for business. All right. Mm-hmm. Come on, Matt, let's have a toast. Just a second, just a second. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to show you these. <laughs> <laughs> and what happened to the paper plates? Uh, maybe you were right hmm. about a few things. Come on, Nick. I want to show you something in the kitchen. No, I was just in the kitchen. Come on, Nick. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You don't need to apologize oh, my for behavior it. the other night was... was completely understandable. Listen, if somebody had done to me what that guy did to you, I would never go on another date the rest of my life. <laughs> Listen, what do you say? We, um, we take this whole thing one cupcake at a time, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay? Okay. But first, there's something I need to do. inherited this place from a customer? Mm-hmm. This is going to make a great story. <laughs> well, we really appreciate you doing it. Come in. Sure. Take a look around. We worked very closely with the Historic Preservation Society. Natalie. Hello. Hi. Uh, <laughs> Courtney, um, what are you doing here? Oh, didn't Eric tell you? Uh, tell me what? Oh, we've had an offer on the bakery. I brought the letter of intent over for him to see. Uh, I thought we agreed to take it off the market. Business is business. Everything is for sale. The price is right. Did you want to try and reschedule this for another time? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm late. I... What's, uh, what's going on? Natalie, wait! You know, you could have told me. Told you what? That you still wanted to sell the bakery. What are you talking about? I would have understood. I know you needed the money. I would never do something like that to you. Ever. But but Courtney just said... No, no. I told Courtney to take the property off the market, but she put it back on without asking because she wanted the commission. What? Why would she do that? Because that's how Courtney operates. Ugh. How was I supposed to know that? Maybe you could have trusted me. I knew I should have gone into business with a man who doesn't know how to bake. Oh, well, you know what? I never wanted to own a bakery in the first place, remember? Oh, so you want to just in the partnership? Do you? I mean, we've come this far. No sense in shutting the place down again. No, I guess not. Best thing is for me to go and leave the rest to you. Oh, just a little higher on that side. Yeah. Hey, I think that's everything. Um, Thank you doesn't even seem like enough to say to you two. I could not have done this without you. Happy to help, Matt. Hey, why don't you let us finish up here? We could do the last of the cookies and you can go home and get some sleep. Thank you. I think I will do that. So, you haven't heard from him? No. He still got me. 
and you are great. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Tonight, get some rest. <laughs> Good night, honey. I'll be right up. Dad, why aren't we going to the bakery tomorrow? It's the grand opening. Isn't Natalie going to be expecting us? I know. I'm sorry, honey, but I've got some important meetings tomorrow. Are you and Natalie mad at each other about something? Why would you say that? Because you haven't smiled all day. How about that? Dear Aunt B, thank you for making my birthday cake. It was very good. I hope when I grow up, I will marry someone like you who is pretty and nice and knows how to bake. Here is my own recipe that I invented myself called Eric's Cupcake. I hope you make it and like it. Love, your nephew, Eric. Sam, what's going on? What? It's my fault. I must have set the oven too high. The smoke set off the sprinklers. We didn't know how to turn it off. We shut off the main valve, but by then it was already too late. Natalie, I, I can't even find the words. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. Listen, I'll pay for everything. No, 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 no. You are not doing that. It is not like you did this on purpose. So what are we going to do? Um, we're going to start by cleaning up. Yeah, but what about tomorrow morning? We've already put out all of those flyers. And the newspaper story. There's going to be a crowd of people here tomorrow. Well, we're just going to have to explain what happened and hope they come back another day. Shouldn't you talk to your partner first? I got a call from the alarm company when the sprinklers went off. Thought I would come down and see what's going on. So, what are we going to do? I think it's time for your next baking lesson.
you. For what? For being here. <laughs> Come on. These cookies aren't going to make themselves. Welcome to Delitos. <laughs> Come on in. Thank you. Nice turnout. Couldn't have done it without you. Well, gotta protect my investment, right? This is for you. What's this? An apology cupcake for yesterday. I jumped to a conclusion that I shouldn't have, and I'm sorry. Well, you're not the only one who should be apologizing. I might have overreacted a little bit to myself. I'm sorry. But you didn't need to do this. Yes, I did. And there's something else. I went home last night. You know what happened? Uh, no, I do not. <laughs> I didn't bake. Okay. <laughs> sure. No, see, I have this thing. I, I always bake when I'm upset, or when I'm in a bad mood, or when something goes wrong, or when I get my heart broken. After you left yesterday, I should have baked a hundred cakes, <laughs> but I didn't. I was standing in the kitchen, and all of a sudden, everything felt different. I trusted someone again. Someone like me? Someone exactly like you. Open it. <laughs> oh. Natalie. Is this my cupcake? Go ahead. Try it. <laughs> mm. This is my recipe. I found it in B's book. <laughs> I thought you said you didn't know how to bake. I guess I forgot. Until you came around. I gotta get back inside. We're running out of bear claws. Oh no. Yeah. Well, I actually missed a job interview this morning to be here, so you wouldn't happen to know anybody who's hiring, do you? I might. Yeah? I'm just going to have to discuss it with my business partner. Okay. You know, this is a very good recipe for an eight-year-old. I hope you'll keep this a secret. Trust me.
watch their love blossom. I want to make you laugh the rest of your life. Now, the moment they've been waiting for is here. Do you remember? <laughs> Lacey Chabert and Brennan Elliott return. <laughs> in the third chapter of the <laughs> All of My Heart movie series. I'm tough. Too slow. All of My Heart, The Wedding, premieres next Saturday at 9. Part of Fall Harvest on Hallmark Channel.